Safari. And today, I want to show you a short clip. Just make sure you check the volume because So the point of that clip was to get the message out that there's some people out there that actually attempt suicide and it has to do with emotional reasons. So today I want to talk to you about extroverts and introverts, which are two energies and different personalities that everyone in this, everyone in here holds. And then next I would like to talk to you about emo human emotions. And lastly, the positives to being an extrovert. David Straker said, extroversion, extroversion is energy that is towards people and things. They get motivation from other people and attitude is relaxed and confident. So basically extroverts are more outgoing and out there. You know, they're always around being sociable with other people and they like attention and they seek that in every day. Introversion is energy that, sorry, introversion is energy towards concepts and ideas. And they actually bottle up their emotions and keep them inside. And they'll explode if they're pushed too far, which is like someone's being pressured or they're being bothered so much like if you see that one person that wants to be left alone a lot. And they're also reserved and they seem em um, egocentric to other people like extroverts. They'll see them as, oh, they're selfish or they don't like want to hang out with me because they think they're too cool. But that's not the real deal with them. It's more like a, I want to be left alone for a while. And that, that brings me to talk to you about human emotion and why. Human emotion has us to, we actually naturally want to have a, I mean, to be accepted and respected and to have freedom and independence. And basically, humans, like, it's not too natural for us to just want to be left alone all the time. So that becomes a problem with extroverts. I mean, introverts, I'm sorry. And emotions control our behaviors and decisions. So as you see in the clip, the man, he, no one knows if he could have had like an emotional problem going on. And maybe that might be one reason why I jumped out the window. I mean, jump off the building. And emotions help us to communicate. And some can be verbal and nonverbal. Extroverts are more verbal and introverts are more nonverbal. But you have to like work and actually find out the signs that a non, I mean, introvert would like attention and actually wants help. And introverts do have a lot of time, like a hard time dealing with the outside pressures. So that's ex like, especially if some of them are agoraphobics and they'll like stay inside their house, they won't go anywhere. And extroverts like attention and like being around others, like I've stated before. Which brings me to my next point of explaining to you more about extroverts themselves. In a research study by Zek dealing with emotional recovery, 
Some 90% of respondents endorse the belief that talking about an emotional experience to someone is relieving. So basically, when you talk with someone, you actually release that stress that you've been holding in about something like if someone broke up with you, or your parents, or grandparent died, or something. You know, it really helps to talk with someone about it instead of just keeping it in there. And extroverts really show that by talking to people and communicating. Extroverts are more sure of themselves because they have support with those who they speak with. And extroverts are always okay as long as they don't disclose too much personal information, especially like stuff that really doesn't need to be said. So. And extroverts don't worry too much about loneliness because they're sociable, you know. And I myself was more introvert as a child, but I try to be more extrovert now, and this class has really helped with that. And more likely, extroverts are supposed to have support and connections because they always talk with others, and that gets them places. And they're not as likely to commit suicide, but it doesn't mean they aren't. They wouldn't ever commit suicide. So, in conclusion, I hope that you understand that extroverts and introverts, um, human emotion, and what it's like to be an extrovert. And I'd like to leave you with an anonymous, an anonymous, eh, an anonymous quote. Control your emotion or it will control you. Thank you.